Police in the Philippines are defending the way they handled a hostage crisis in which eight tourists were killed. A lone gunman held the Hong Kong tourists captive on a bus for 11 hours. By the time police moved in, he'd already begun shooting them. More from Southeast Asia correspondent Zoe Daniel. And a warning, this story contains some confronting material. These extraordinary scenes played out on live television. In central Manila, a lone gunman held a busload of hostages for 11 hours and as night fell, started shooting them. Police moved in but were initially repelled by gunfire. By the time they killed the hostage taker, many of his captives were already dead. Four people are dead in the Manila hospital. One of the patients here, her husband has died. She will be going to another hospital to see if her children are there. He's talking about this woman who survived the ordeal but is now grieving for her dead husband. In total, eight hostages were killed. I really wanted to die together with my husband. But when I thought of my children, I thought that one of us should protect ourselves as best we could to look after them. Her son remains in intensive care. Her two daughters died in hospital. 25 people were on the bus when it was hijacked by disgruntled former policeman Rolando Mendoza, who was sacked from the force over allegations of extortion and drug crimes. Signs on the bus windows said he wanted his job back. He released some hostages during the day, but as night fell, gunshots began. The bus driver escaped and reported many dead. Police eventually killed their own renegade, but not without the loss of innocent life. This is very tragic. And the way it is handled, particularly the way the outcome, I find it is disappointing. It was a tactical decision. If there is no immediate threat to the hostages, then you will wait him out. There is, you know, why force the issue? Why employ the, first, the final option as a first option? Hong Kong has issued a black travel warning for the Philippines advising against visiting. Zoe Daniel, ABC News.